I haven't got a tangent point horizon, Nathan. I've said it's refracted, Nathan. That means I can't get the geometry to derive R from it, Nathan. It means I haven't got a straight line for the triangle, for the triangulation of the sun and moon, Nathan. You've pummeled my argument thoroughly, Nathan, and I understand. Not etc, etc, etc. I understand every, everything you said. Uh, you're right. Okay, uh, I failed at attempting the proving the Earth is round. Uh, the horizon is not a physical uh, tangent point because it has lots of refraction. Okay, you, you have won, uh, I admit. Because I'm right and you're wrong. So I can be smug and arrogant about it. You can't. Do you understand that? Me? Righteous indignation. You dumb f dunning Kruger. Okay, you, you have won. Uh, I admit. Uh, could we go to another theme? Admit okay, what? Sorry. What do you admit? That you are right, etc, etc. Etc, etc is not very uh, conciliatory. That doesn't show much humility. Maybe you could pass back the thing you comprehend as an understanding so I know that you do actually understand it rather than just being a wanker and saying things like etc 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 when I've given you 10 renditions of the concise pummeling your argument received here from me the flat earther who knew all about your model and its failings your religious belief and your zealotry you didn't win yet I... you had the gall to ask me if I was done so I continued pummeling you and gave you the rendition seven times. Not etc, etc, etc. You don't have a physical tangent point horizon. That would be Earth curve to measure R with. We are not going to see the geometric horizon. No one's claiming that we see physical geometry. It's not a visual horizon. You want to repeat it back? Okay, I, understand, uh, I understand every, everything you said. Uh, you're right. Uh, I don't want to have a grown man uh, yelling. Uh, so you're going to add on me about me being a small child now, not a grown man. No, I just need to hear what you understand and I'll stay here indefinitely till you do it. Or you can behave like a big baby and go etc etc and start talking about me not being a big man. Or you could just concede that you understand you don't have a physical geometric tangent point horizon to get your dip angle to measure R with so you can get triangulation okay, yeah. for the sun uh, and moon maybe you could interrupt the, the 11th maybe you could interrupt uh, like a scumbag point. fundy yeah, maybe like a scumbag fundy you can interrupt the 10th and 11th rendition of the thing you seem to be a bit hesitant to repeat back to me maybe interrupt that and say etc 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 when you're interrupting the right i'll give you the 12th rendition of it so you don't have a physical geometric tangent point horizon to measure this dip angle to get r as you claimed you could so that you could triangulate the sun and moon. It's refracted according to you. So that's where your argument failed. Not etc, etc, etc. Can you explain to me that you're not really, really stupid and you do actually understand how your argument was defeated? It wasn't etc, 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 or a description of the conversation and the tone. Do you want to give me my argument rather than the tone of conversation back? Let's see if you can cope with it. Please. Um... You don't beg more than one measurement don't so beg you you are always don't beg or start the argument again you haven't got a tangent point horizon and i need you to say that etc 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 aka i haven't got a tangent point horizon nathan i've said it's refracted nathan that means i can't get the geometry to derive r from it nathan it means i haven't got a straight line for the triangle for the triangulation of the sun and moon nathan you've pummeled my argument thoroughly nathan and i understand not etc 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 and then another attempt to reiterate your argument because that means you're arrogant and still dunning kruger says you think you're right you're not okay uh, i failed at attempting the proving the earth is round uh, the horizon is not a physical uh, tangent point because it has lots of refraction uh, and you can measure the distance to the moon, uh, ergo, you can measure the distance to the sun. Uh, yeah. So you can't triangulate the distance to the sun by way of an assumed R value because it's utilizing a tangent point that you can't measure because it's refracted. Okay, okay. You, you... Yeah, okay, okay. That sounds like a lot of humility, doesn't it? Yeah. No. 
Not okay, okay, let's move on because this is embarrassing. Yeah, so you concede your fuckwittery then. Because it, it does So you concede then that you were wrong. What? So you concede you were wrong then. It's been an hour of our life wasted because you got it wrong. That was corrected by me. Yeah, I got it. If you want uh, uh, to say it, yeah, I was wrong. I know you were wrong. Now I'm going to fish for an apology. I don't remember what the Now I'm going to fish for an apology. I'm going to push this as far as I can. Yeah, I know you're wrong. I was the one who made clear to an audience how wrong you were. I know that. Now you can apologize for wasting an hour of our time with your tin tangent point horizon that boats fall over on a sphere earth. Can you apologize for wasting all of our time, please? Uh, yeah, I apologize um, for wasting your time. And now... Uh... Excellent. Now you won't be taking charge of the mic. <laughs> now I'll gloat in the fact that, yeah, that's right, Fundy's listening. That's right. This good little doggy here has demonstrated a decent understanding that you can't derive an R value from a physical geometric sphere edge horizon if it's not a physical geometric sphere edge horizon, formerly known as Earth Curve. You can't do dip angle measurements. Al Biruni was lying. It was non-physical all along. We haven't got Earth Curve. That's where this guy with his globe belief was wrong, as he admits and is sorry for, as you all should be sorry for too. You should all be very sorry your fundamentalist religious belief in a sphere because me i'm a flat earther and i'm going to point out how wrong that is yeah with a comprehensive understanding of your globe model and it's lacking geometric earth curve edge horizon the horizon's not physical but the one in your earth curve maths okay, is uh, i failed at attempting the proving the earth is round uh, the horizon is not a physical uh, tangent point because it has lots of refraction Okay, you, you have won, uh, I admit. Santos Bonacci wants to have you on his podcast. And I was like, what am I going to add to, like, you know, what am I going to say? I'm, I would ask you the questions, you know what I mean? I don't know shit. You know, I listen to guys like you, David Wise, Eric Dubay, uh, you know, Nathan Oakley is f my fucking favorite right now. I love Nathan Oakley. Yeah, me too. He demolished Nathan Oakley, Absolutely. 1980. Follow his, uh, he does Flat Earth debates every day, mm. live, live streams, Flat Earth yeah. debates. Anybody could get on. And uh, you know, and and debate him, and he just demolishes everybody. I, I, there's so many good guys out there. So when they asked me, you know, uh, Santos wants to put you on his podcast, I'm like, for what? What am I going to talk about? Uh, uh, my strip club stories? 